MA3 version 1.8 is here. Let's check out what it has brought us. All right, first up, you can see we have some new selection tools over here on the selection grid. We have quick ways to flip and modify as well if we just wanted like a straight along the X axis. Just It's really, really cool uh, to be able to quickly create uh, more complex selections. And of course, anything that you do uh, to modify your selection grid will of course change your phasers and stuff that you're storing with that new selection grid. Very, very cool. Uh, play around with all these. If you hover over them, you can see uh, down in the command line a little uh, like teaser of what it actually does that kind of thing but just create your own selection of fixtures and play around with them that would be the best way to learn about how they all do but basically they flip and mirror and rotate 90 degrees and that kind of stuff all right so next up what we have is we have a new circle form uh, within a matrix it's actually called transform you can see we have a mirror function basically if we uh, select a group of fixtures put them in a circle or other you know symmetrical movement kind of thing if we hit the mirror function and then apply a phase we'll get a much more symmetrical look uh, of fixtures which is very cool um, and it also one of the cool things is for center fixtures it will actually only apply tilt values so that way it uh, everything stays symmetrical and it can center fixtures panning would make that not symmetrical in that kind of sense. All right, another thing we have is head up over here. You can see on the DMX sheet, we now have a tester encoder bar uh, option. If we tap that, you can see down here, we have a DMX tester. So this is kind of building on what they implemented last time. So we can select certain channels. We can put them at 100. Uh, we can also change that or whatever. Uh, we can also release different values, really selected, really unselected, select all. You can also have parking tools here as well. So it's a much more manageable uh, way to do that as opposed to just through the command line, which it was last time. All right, next up, we have some new store and update settings. So if we go over here, let's check if we go on the update menu. We have uh, updates separated by presets and cues with just some more clarification around that kind of thing, which is very helpful. Uh, you also have um, uh, a better way to kind of see what you need to update, cue only, input filter, preset modes, um, and that kind of stuff. It's just a little bit more, it's just better laid out basically. Uh, very helpful. I like how they keep improving this menu with every release. We also have some new store settings. So if we hold down store, you can see uh, we now have a store look, which actually functionally proper, uh, works properly. And then we have output and DMX as well. DMX will record uh, imp, uh, like incoming DMX values as well, which is kind of cool if you are trying to merge values over from a different um, you know console or something. So that's quite cool. Very excited about that. Alrighty, and one of the last things uh, that was implemented, there's obviously a lot more, but uh, we also can see here that if we add a new fixture, say, um, you know, that dimmer, let's just grab generic dimmer here. Lovely. And now, uh, you know, all this looks fine, sure. We now have the option to create a multi-patch, which is very helpful, especially in theatrical and installation situations, because you can be like, I want eight multi-patch fixtures, and then boom, you have all these. And the cool thing is that this actually does not um, uh, take up parameters. So, you know, that's pretty cool. You can patch all of these, you know, whatever. You can start them at like 10.1 or something. There you go, boom, very cool. Um, and you don't worry if you are like, well, what if I need to you know, get one of them separately? You can still get your multi-patch fixture separately by um, selecting the fixture, you know, fixture 237, and then you can put multi-patch in the command line or use a shortcut MU and then select three for whatever the exact one you want is, or you could do three with that kind of stuff as well. So you can still get to them, but again, they don't take up parameters, which is really cool. So those are the major updates uh, that have come in MA3 version 1.8. Check them out and uh, subscribe and like this video. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.